Singo Dynamic PET is a recently launched software package from Siemens Molecular Imaging for myocardial blood flow quantification. It provides a fast and user-friendly platform in order to obtain reproducible measurements of myocardial blood flow at peak stress and rest and generate coronary flow reserve values as well as display the results in form of parametric polar plots for easy reviewing. Michael blood flow measurement till now has been used primarily in specialized centers with research interest. Single dynamic PET provides simple tools for any PET CT center to be able to perform flow quantification as part of cardiac PET CT. Myocardial blood flow quantification is shown here in a patient with suspected coronary artery disease. Here we see the display of the dynamic perfusion study with the short axis view, the horizontal long axis view and the vertical long axis, both at stress and at rest. We see that there is an inferior wall perfusion defect at stress, which shows improvement in uptake in the resting study. We also have the visualization of the stress and rest perfusion polar plots together with the myocardial blood flow polar plots at stress and at rest and also the polar plot of the coronary flow reserve. We can also see the adequacy of the bolus by looking at the individual dynamic frames. Here we see the initial tracer transit in the right ventricle, then the left ventricle, over the next frames, we see the gradual diffusion of the tracer into the left ventricular myocardium. The individual frames can likewise be checked in the resting study as well. The adequacy of the bolus can also be checked via the time activity curve of the input function. The input function is sampled from a region of interest in the left ventricle highlighted in green we see the sharp upslope of the time activity curve as the initial bolus passes through, followed by rapid clearance, which indicates that the arterial input function is adequate. Now we can look at the stress and rest uptake polar plots, which show a very large inferior wall defect with significant improvement of uptake in the resting study, suggesting reversible ischemia in the right coronary artery territory. In the stress flow polar plot, we can click at any point to select a region of interest to look at the stress and rest flow values of that region of interest as well as the coronary flow reserve. We can also see the average flow of a particular arterial territory, for example here the right coronary artery territory which shows pretty low mean flow of 1.21 ml per gram per minute. The lower limit of normal for peak stress flow is usually 2 ml per gram per minute. That means there is a significant ischemia in the right coronary artery territory. However, we also see that there is significantly lower flow in the LAD and left circumflex areas. The resting flow is fairly normal and well preserved both in the LAD and left circumflex as well as in the RCA territories. Here we are able to look at individual segments of the coronary territories and look at the flow in that particular region of interest. There is very low flow of 0.89 ml per gram per minute in part of the inferior wall at peak stress. Some of the anterior wall also show low flow as in this segment with 1.29 ml per gram per minute at stress and 0.76 ml per gram per minute at rest. The CFR is slightly better at 1.71. Thus, flow values can be obtained from individual regions of interest within an extended arterial territory. Cross hairs indicate the location of the corresponding areas in the short axis, horizontal long axis and vertical long axis. So this is how we obtain flow for both peak stress and rest and calculate the corresponding coronary flow reserve for a quantitative evaluation of the myocardial blood flow.